JBN, we keep you informed. News that caught my eyes. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, leave us a comment and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items. Now, this is a little bit different from what I would normally carry. But while scrolling through today through news items, I came across this news item that I would love to share with you so you can give me a feedback on what you think about this. So this American missionary, 27-year-old John Cho, decided to go to the North Centennial Island in India. Now on this island, you have about 150 tribes people living there. These people have no connection with the outside world. Nothing at all they want to do with, with, with civilized, modern civilization. So they have not allowed people to go there. They have not allowed anybody to go within three miles of this island. So this American missionary would decide that, okay, I'm going to go over there and go Christianize these people. I'm going to convert them, even though he knows that he's not supposed to go there. So he charter a boat with some fishermen and allow them to drop him off for a little bit out in the sea and then him paddle him where go there. Now by the time this man reach there, what's that reach him? A whole heap of arrows. No, me thinks that this man don't have sense and turn back. No, so he decides he's right, he's on a mission for Christ, he's on a, he's, he's on a journey because he needs to yeah, turn these people yeah. in a Christians, me and this crusader journey. Now the last thing the fishermen saw was him being shot up with arrows and then a rope was placed around his neck and he was pulled away by these tribes people. No people them no want nothing to do with me. Then did they their own little world, then I have they not civilized any attack. They don't want nothing to do with me. What the hell am I gonna go do? No, them said 2014, the tsunami that in that it the Indian coast. These people were affected by the tsunami and the Indian government could not even go inside here to check on them. Them said that a helicopter was flying over them and a photographer was taking a picture, saw an arrow. The man had shot one arrow at the helicopter, you know, to show you all the serious and so they don't want nobody around them, you know. But this man now with him bright, brilliant self decides, okay, may I go there now because I need to Christianize these people. No, tell me what I really and truly think about this. So that's our theme. I'm not really sorry for him at all. But on the other hand, I was also going through another saw in Trinidad and Tobago now, nearer to us. 12-year-old boy pleads guilty to threatening the life of the police commissioner, Gary Griffith. Now them said this little boy now was he pleaded guilty to misusing a phone, to sending a threatening message that him going to kill the police commissioner. They said that because in their system, they said that you have to call the E99 operator. So he called the EE9 operator from a mobile phone and tell him, so listen, me I go kill Gary Griffith. So after the person who answered the phone now, so wait, I will help me so transfer the call to the police corporal who was there on duty, the E99 police corporal. He repeat the same threat, so listen, me I go kill him. He's 12 years old. So now he had to plead guilty to threatening the police commissioner. Then place him back in custody of his parents to, and then the mother place charges on him. At 12 years old, you know, we have to be careful what we allow our children to do. Because even though at 12 years old, 12 years of age, I'm supposed to be smart and know, so listen, you cannot, you cannot threaten the police commissioner or anybody for that matter. This little boy took up the phone and threatened the, the, the commissioner. But then there's another situation where another male caller this time the number was known of the person who called. And him said, listen, I want to summon Gary Griffith for de defamation of character against me in court. Or else I will call him and chop off him, bad word, bad word, mother, head. And you know, stuff like that. And in the other such things, I listen, you're killing wife Nicole Dyer. What is happening to this society? What is happening to this world? Where everybody feels uh, they can hide behind one phone, they can hide behind one computer screen. And make threats on people's lives. We have to be careful. We cannot just get up and decide. So we are going to threaten people willy nilly. Because we have mouth and tongue. And we can do it. So this is what I came across today. Tell me what you think about it. If I should continue to do features like this. Or if I just leave it alone. JBN. We keep you informed. Please remember to like. Subscribe. Share. Leave us a comment. And click the notification bell. Talk to me man.